Hey guys, how you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm in a different space. Uh, the reason for that is basically I forgot to buy a gas bottle this week for my studio, so it's a bit cold. It's like four degrees or something in there. So I just brought some stuff up into the lounge room, and um, I'm just going to be working here this weekend. Uh, I thought I'd talk about the progress on my Moody art toy. So basically, since you've seen it, I've added um, just like this textured effect with glue and um, yeah, just painted some gold on it. I also put a clear gloss varnish over him. Um, that helps protect the paint from chipping off. Um, but also, because I'm going to be adding layers, it'll also keep it on there. But he has two faces you can use, so I'm thinking I'm going to use both. I'm going to put like uh, a cheeky face on one and a happy face on the other. And, um, yeah, so that's what's happening with the Moody doll so far. Exhibitions, I've got my exhibition in Oslo next month. Uh, I just sent the works off last Thursday and I sent them through the post, which is something I don't normally do but oh, I did this time. Um, I put a tracking on it and they've arrived in Oslo, so I'm just waiting for the gallery to uh, pick them up. Hopefully they're not damaged. So I'll post details and information uh, on uh, when I'm having the exhibition, um, galleries, address, etc, etc. <coughs> also want to talk about doing a paint and pass if um, some of you are interested. I've got another exhibition coming up in uh, June and it's like in a boutique hotel. So I'm going to be making a bunch of small uh, miniature artworks. Uh, so what I've done is I've just went and bought some craft paper from the local craft store and they're just like, as you can see, it's just small paper and it's got some printed images on them already. So I'm going to basically start working over the top of those images and then adding my own textures and layers. And if you like, um, you can also join me in, um, I'll put a materials list one week and then we'll just go through some steps and create some really cool artworks. And then I'm just gonna put them in some chip, uh, simple frames that I bought from Ikea. Um, and that should be pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh yeah, studio space. I got a lady asking me that she finds it, um, she can't really paint because she doesn't have a big enough space. Well, I just want to say, my last studio was in um, the washroom, which was really, really small. Um, so, you can paint, it's just a question of what you're willing to settle with. So, maybe it's a bit of an excuse, um, but don't let space hold you back. Yeah. That's all you have to say on that. So those of you who are interested in a pain pass, send me an email at, uh, I've supplied the address and stuff. So I think it's gonna be cool to do a collaboration with you guys and that's basically about it for now. Okay, take care, thanks. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing, the tip of the week. Um, <clears throat> basically to make your work more interesting, uh, if you're doing a drawing, you should always uh, alternate the, um, your mark making. So for example, when you start to draw a flower, you know, you start by doing like a, a, a line drawing and then as you come to the next petal, you could possibly do a thicker line with more tones and then the next petal you could just do in dots. Uh, by creating these different uh, sections in uh, your drawing, it adds interest and makes people want to look at your work longer rather than they look at this one image that's drawn all the same and they go, oh, that's nice but boring. So that's just a tip. Just alternate your mark making. Cool. Okay. Later.